What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do something a little different so I'm coming to you guys with my everyday skin routine. If you guys would like to see how I achieve my flawless skin, just keep watching. As you can see, I'm currently deep conditioning my hair so I thought this is the perfect time for me to do my skincare routine. You know this is like the perfect day for me to pamper myself, get my hair together, get my skin together and get ready for the next day. So I'm gonna do like a mini close up and show you guys my skin. Okay so I really don't have that bumps. My skin is really not acne prone which is great. I'm glad that my parents blessed me with that. However I do have like discoloration around my mouth my eyes you know a couple of little places here and there and what is weird is that i have this ugly scar right here from the dentist i believe i got it from when i had a smaller reaction this was the result of it so hopefully as the days go on you know the scar will disappear because i just can't and i also have a thousand and one moles as you can see or beauty marks if you want to call them i have them all here i have a few on my forehead and some on this side so don't think those are bumps because honey those are not bumps those are beauty marks at that. and i forgot to mention that i have extremely oily skin no not combination skin oily skin no matter what even in the winter time it is extremely oily so i always have to keep it clean because it's easier for my pores to get clogged up for bumps to come because all the moisture and dirt packs up and excuse my hands, they're looking a little manly because I just took my nose off. So this is not regular for me, like, ugh, it just looks ridiculous. I cannot wait till I get my tips again. Okay, so first what I like to start off is by getting this coconut oil. And what I like doing is putting a little bit of it on my lips because, honey, you know, we got to keep these lips moisturized. Usually I like to put coconut oil on my lips to keep them moisturized while I'm cleaning my face. That way they stay hydrated. When it's that time to wipe it off, all the dead skin could come off. So usually what I like to do is I like to exfoliate with my spin brush, which is right here. And this is the Vanity Planet spin brush. And it comes in this little cute case right here. And it comes with the spin brush, of course. I like this little brush right here. And then it comes with these other two brushes. You have like the soft bristle brush and then you have the hard bristle brush, which is right here. And usually I like to do this one, which is a soft one because my skin is extra sensitive. And with the hard one, you know, I feel like my skin don't really need that because if I do it too hard, I can, you know, scar my skin or I could burn my skin. So what I like to exfoliate is the all natural African soap. No, this is not the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. This is the real stuff. And actually, how big it is, which was only like $3, maybe 4 even. And I love this stuff. Granted, my skin is a bit sensitive, so it took a couple of days for me to get used to it. It did burn my skin. I'm not going to even lie. It did burn my skin the first day. But by the third day, I was cool and my skin was loving it. When I wake up in the morning, honey, I don't need a moisturizer. I don't need a gloss. I don't need an oil. My face be naturally shiny. Like, my skin loves it so as you already see you already wet the brush and I put the soap on it so now what I'm gonna do is start exfoliating it deep into my skin and you guys can't really tell but it's there started doing this but I like to exfoliate my neck too because I noticed my neck is a bit darker than my face in which I want it to be the same color and I noticed that this African black soap is really helping my skin out as far as like the coloration goes so maybe this will work and usually I will rinse my face off you know just in the water in the sink but for the video purposes I got a cold rag and I just want to dab it on my face basically so i'm just dabbing my face and now what i'm going to do is do my mask but before we do our mask do you see what i'm talking about about that natural glow mm -hmm. all right so what mask i usually use it's just the Aztec bentonite clay or hemp clay, whatever you want to call it. 
but I usually use this. This is my go-to. My skin loves it. It does me really good. And I usually put two capsules of apple cider vinegar in it with the mother and maybe like a few drops of water to dilute it a little bit because my skin is very sensitive again. So I don't want to, you know, damage it any type of way. All right, so before we move on, I'm just gonna add a little bit more coconut oil on my lips because as you can see, it came off just a tad bit from me wiping my face with the washcloth. So I'm just putting that on because you know, although my lips is not dry, I still wanna keep them hydrated throughout this whole process. So what so we're gonna do is I'm gonna start applying the mask and what I use is just like an old like makeup brush or something. It really doesn't matter, you can use a makeup brush, you use your hands, a spoon, whatever, it's up to you. But I'm just adding the mask on my face. And you don't have to be so precise with it, but me, I'm like, a perfectionist so I just rather do it this way anyway but I'm trying to make sure but I'm making sure that I'm getting every spot Now that I apply the mask and I'm looking crazy as ever, I'm going to sit and process the mask and let it dry and I'll see you guys when I come back. Okay guys, so as you can see, the mask is about dry for the majority of it. It's a bit wet over here, but it's okay. Really? You can see that I cannot move my mouth and I look goofy as heck and I can't even laugh about it. So what I'm going to do is, off camera, I'm going to wash this off my face because it's going to be a mess. And I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so don't judge me because I looked so crazy. But as you can see, my face is a bit red in certain areas and it's dry from the mask. But it did say that it was going to be red. And it'll go away in a couple of minutes or so. But the reason why I only do the Aztec clay only twice a week is because it's very drying and although my skin is extremely oily I do not want to get dry patches all over my skin I've dealt with that before so I don't want to have to deal with that again I prefer my oily skin over dry skin any day as you guys know I did say that although my skin is very clear I have problems with discoloration so next what I'm going to do is I mixed up this little toner of witch hazel and aloe vera juice and I put it in this little bottle now with both of those products they help with hyperpigmentation in skin so I'm just putting that on my skin and it's also a toner which can you know eliminate extra dirt or makeup or even a mask that I just had on so this is gonna help with that just get it rid of anything extra that I didn't catch so I'm just wiping my face with that a tad bit of dirt okay so next what I'm going to do I'm going to go on with the Mario Badescu olive oil green tea and cucumbers facial spray and this is basically just like a refresher to wake up the skin so I like to just spray this on or maybe sometimes I just like being extra so just gonna spray that in and this is actually my first time trying this one I usually always have the rosemary one but I actually like this one the smell is actually really nice okay so now I'm going in with a moisturizer and I'm telling you guys I'm very basic I'm just going in with my oil valet and this has always been my go-to because it's very soothing not too harsh on my skin and it's also not heavy now I put a little trick in it a little bit I put 
primrose oil, I put vitamin D oil, and I put vitamin A oil. So I didn't get those oils from the store. I actually got them from the vitamin itself. I broke the gel caps in half because they are gel caps, of course. And I just poured them each in here, shook it up, and gave it a good, you know, spin or whatever. Now, those are good quality for the skin because it enhances radiance. It helps with decoloration, and it's also good for anti-aging. Although this Melanin Magic itself is going to keep my youth, I like to enhance it a little more, you know, just add a little pop to it. So here I am putting just a tiny bit. I usually do like one drop. And I rub my two fingers together, and I rub it onto my face. Now, as I said before, this is very moisturizing. However, it is not heavy. So even if you do this in the nighttime or in the daytime, you won't feel like you have like a hairy cream on your face or you won't feel like your pores is clogged or anything. Okay, and the last thing to do is get my little Vaseline for my lips and I just put it on my lips like this. And I am done.